In this problem, we're told to calculate the average speed and average velocity of a complete round trip in which the outgoing 250 kilometers is covered at 95 kilometers per hour, followed by a one hour lunch break, and the return 250 kilometers is covered at 55 kilometers per hour. So let's go ahead and draw what's going on. So we have this round trip and we go out 250 kilometers and we're doing this at, it's covered in 95 kilometers per hour and then we take a one hour lunch break I'm just gonna draw a little line like this uh, and just label one hour lunch break and then we're gonna travel back 250 kilometers but this time it's covered at 55 kilometers per hour so now that we drew it let's find what we're asking or what they're asking us for so we're trying to find average speed and average velocity so in order to solve this you need to know the difference between speed and velocity. So speed is going to be distance over time. So the total distance traveled divided by the total amount of time and velocity is going to be change in position over uh, change in time. So delta, delta x over delta t, delta just means change, so change in our position x over the change in time. So the first thing we want to do is figure out uh, the total time this thing took. So we know the total distance, right? For this one, uh, the total distance is 250 kilometers this way, 250 back. So if we add that up, the total is going to be 500 kilometers. But the thing is, we don't know how long it took. So that's what we need to calculate. So let's find how long this took and how long this took. And so if you think about it, this is going at 95 kilometers per hour, and this is going at 55. So the time this took is going to be uh, much less because we're going at a faster speed compared to this one. So let's find this one first. So in order to find it, uh, how long uh, this took, you're going to take uh, the total distance traveled, so 250 kilometers, and divide it by the velocity or the speed you were going. So divided by 95 kilometers per hour. And so this will give it to you in hours. So 250 divided by 95 is going to give you 2.63. So it took 2.63 hours. Let's go ahead and label that. And then let's do this one right here. So it's going to be the same exact thing. 250 divided by, and so this is kilometers, divided by 55 kilometers per hour. Once again, they cancel. 250 divided by 55. We'll give it to you in hours. Uh, it's going to be 4.54 uh Five, and so I'm gonna round this up to 4.55 and so 4.55 hours and so now we can actually find the total time so how long did we spend well we went 2.63 hours this way we took one hour break and then uh, it took 4.5 hours back so let's add them all up and that's gonna be the total time it took so 2.63 plus 4.55 plus 1 is going to give you 8.5 one eight and so this is in hours so if you go ahead and divide that 500 divided by 8.18 it's going to give you 61.124 and so on uh, i'm just going to round to the whole number so 61 then it's kilometers per hour so 61 kilometers per hour so this right here is going to be your speed but let's look at velocity so this is speed Velocity, though, is going to be a bit different, and they're kind of trying to trick you here. So uh, we generally write this as x sub 2 minus x sub 1 over t sub 2 minus t sub 1. And so t sub 2 minus t sub 1 is just basically the total time it took. The same thing, it's going to be 8.18 hours. But this is where they trick you. So delta x means your change in position. So if our initial position is right here, right, which we're going to just call 0 because we're just 0 away from our initial position, we travel this way, this way, and then this way back, right? So really it's like this, it's like a straight line this way and a straight line back. So in reality, you're in the same position. The diagram is just a bit off, but you essentially end up in the same position, right? So what is your change in position if it's the exact same position? It's, it's gonna be zero, right? Because if you don't change your position, your change in position is gonna be zero. So really it's just gonna be your final position, which we know is zero, right? Because we're in the same spot, minus zero. So if you do that, you're just going to get 0 over 8.8. .8. And so 0 over 8.8 .8 is just going to be 0, right? Because 0 over any number is going to be 0, unless it's 0. But 
Uh, so it's going to be zero. And keep in mind, this is in uh, kilometers and this is in hours. So zero kilometers per hour. So this right here is going to be your velocity. And this right here is going to be your speed. And that's how you solve this problem.